of the trial there. Turn to Jesus. He is a rock that you can cling to and find comfort in a time of trouble. He is a rock. And you know, I love this story. Moses, he'd done all, you know what, all he'd done to get the children of Israel out there? Yeah. Boy, they complained every slip of the journey, didn't they? Yeah. They wanted quail, they brought him quail. They wanted something to eat, he brought that. But they wanted to go back in bondage. Yeah. Wanted to go back and get some leeks and watermelons and garlics and onions and so on and so forth. But they got out and they run down the water. And they begin to cry out to Moses, you brought us out here to starve us to death. We're dying of thirst. 600,000, not counting the women and children and all their animals. And the Lord told Moses to go down and speak to the rock. Yeah. He didn't tell him to hit it. Go speak to that rock. But when Moses went down, he was angry and he smoked that rock. And God said, because you've done this, you'll not go into the promised land. You can read it. I can show you where it's at. Because he disobeyed God, he didn't speak to the rock. He smoked the rock. And water began to run out of that rock. I used to imagine when I just got started a while, I could see a man standing there holding a cup, catching a cup of water out of a rock. But if it had been that way, some of them would die of thirst for the all drunk. Yeah. But from 105 said, when Moses struck that rock, they would have river flowed yeah. out into the dry land. Oh, he got it all out of He got plentiful. Yeah. There's no lie. A river of water run down into the dry land. They didn't drink out of a cup, did they? God supplies plentiful, ain't he? He is a rock. Do you know him? Do you know him tonight? I hope you do. I sure hope you know him. But then let's look at Daniel's rock for just a minute. Daniel, they had a dream about one kingdom rising up. Part Mariar and part clay, different things. Yeah. All these kingdoms raising up, but no, they wouldn't stand, would they? Because they built out of the wrong stuff. And he was seeing this, the old king, in his dream. And he said, I looked and saw a rock yeah. that was cut out of the mountain without hand. And it rolled down the mountain, and it covered all them kingdoms, tore them all down. He said, your dream is true. And he had a share, had a foundation that's going to stand sure. Yeah. And that is the rock of ages, yeah. that cliff for me. Right. Let me hide myself in thee. Yeah. I need hiding. I tell you, I'm not worthy of his grace. I don't know about you, boy, but let me hide in the rock of ages. Because yeah. he's the one, that cliff for me. Yeah. Do you know this Jesus I'm talking about? Do you know him? Oh, he's a friend that sticks closer yeah. than a brother. Bless him, Lord. He's there when trouble. I was talking to a guy today, you know, I lost my wife with cancer back in November the 16th. And I was talking to a guy today, his wife had cancer. And I was trying to, to comfort him what I could, you know. Yeah. But we talked for a little while, and then I looked at him, I said, all I know to tell you is hold on to the rock. Yeah. That's all I do know to tell you is hold on to the rock. Jesus will never let you down. You may think he's failed you, but he'll never let you down. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and call according to his purpose. God will take that which the devil meant for bad and make it good for you on him. Just got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. Sure have got a lot more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. Yeah. How do I want to get there? Yes, Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the yeah. life. No man can come unto the Father except he come by me. Yeah. Uh, in the book of Acts, he said, no other name given under heaven whereby yes, man can be Lord. saved except the name of Jesus. Yeah. There's no other mediator between man and God except Amen. that man, Christ Jesus. Yeah. If the singers would like, I'd like you to get back up there and, and get ready for an invitation song. I'm going to come to close here just in a minute. But I wanted to quote maybe just another scripture too, and then we'll come to a close. Peter said, Now, you're the son of a living God. Yeah. And he said, Now, he knew Peter had been out in the crowd. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father which is in hell in other words Peter you didn't learn this from man but over in Corinthians Paul said they all eat and they all drink from that same 
spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Oh, you say, preacher, how did a rock fall? I don't know all of that, but I know when they turned around, he was there. When they went through a storm, he was there. He was always there. When they needed him, wasn't he? He is that rock. He's a shelter from a storm. He's a high tower. He's a mighty God, ain't he? And David said, when I'm in trouble, lead me to a rock that is higher than I am. All these girls are saying, I don't know about you out there. You can kneel down right where you're at and be saved at home. If you're in a car, pull on the side of the road, get saved. Any time God did it, you can be saved. He's the Savior of the world. And there's no man he'll reject to they'll come to him. He is a rock. Thank you tonight for listening in. Thank Brother Jim for this privilege.